Greetings everyone, uh, welcome to the, another part of the project um, Atlantis. Today uh, will be actually uh, also the last part of the project Atlantis because in this uh, part we will finish the entire city. So, uh, what we will uh, do in this part is uh, that we will take a look at all the buildings and uh, towers and finally the stand itself. So, let's look into it right now. Uh, we will start with, let's say, this pylon or pier and uh, take a look because basically it's all the same in every single one of them. So, yeah. Um, the the thing is that every single building has its own hole, so uh, each building fits to its specific hole, so you cannot really mismatch it, and you will simply insert all the buildings into their corresponding holes, and that's it. That's, that's basically it, so uh, nothing really complex about that. And uh, you will do the same for all the piers all around. And now we have uh, the middle with all the towers, so we will now focus on the, on the middle. Now, I will once again get rid of all the buildings and once again every building has its respective hole uh, into which it fits so once again you cannot really mismatch it and you will simply insert every building to its respective hole yeah uh, with one exception which is tower 3 uh, it has this connector piece and to that connector piece you will insert, uh, sorry, not, not tower 3, I uh, named it wrongly, it's tower 4, I guess, yeah, tower 4, uh, so yeah, that's the only, only, only difference, yeah, and you will continue, as I said, every building fits to its own hole, so you cannot really do it wrong, um, so I don't think there should be any problem whatsoever. Okay, and that would basically mean that the uh, ship is done. But there is still one thing, uh, which is the stand. Yeah. Uh, as you remember, I designed the stand so that the ship is in this specific angle, so that it fits to my vitrine. And now we take a look at the stand itself. A uh, stand is made out of several pieces and basically they all fit together. So uh, we have the base and as you can see it has uh, pins. Then we have this piece, sorry, this piece which has corresponding holes and attaches to uh, the base. And then we have uh, also the top piece which goes onto that piece and all four legs, so very easy, but yeah, I think that's kind of self-explanatory. Okay, and yeah, that's, that's basically it, so let's go straight to the printing and assembling. Uh, okay, as you can see, I've already uh, pushed the buildings um, uh, that are on the piers, I did not really bother to um, film that because that's, you know, you just put them into place. Uh, you cannot mismatch them because each fits into its respective hole. So, yeah. But uh, I have still a few uh, of the smaller buildings left because they are here. Uh, so now uh, we will simply add them on here. One here, one here, and one here. And now we will add 
attach those big ones. So first we will take uh, the, those two pieces, put them together and we have uh, the big tower. And the big tower has three holes and the corresponding pegs are here so we will push it into place. Okay. So we have uh, the tower. Now uh, we will take uh, those uh, very thin ones and they belong to the hole here. Okay, like that. And now we will continue. So uh, I take this one because it's right here and push it all the way. We continue. Then I will take this, this one, and this one comes right here. And we will go all the way around. Okay. Now uh, we will take this building and it is chamfer here and we will all the holes with the with the chamfer. these buildings and put them into place. Yeah, that means that the Atlantis is done. So, yeah, this is the city of the ancients. So we will take this and put all the legs inside. Then we will take this, this holes and this hole and we will put it. like this and now it's ready as you can see it is now in the stand and uh, under its angle but I am not sure uh, if I actually will use the stand at all because um, well to be honest 
looking at it like this, I'm not really fan. Uh, the only reason I did it was to the lack of through the lack of space. However, I uh, found out that um, you know the lack of space isn't really a, such a big issue, and uh, it will fit on a place just fine. So, well, take a look. As you can see, it fits to the vitrine uh, very nicely, though obviously it is sticking out a little bit, but I don't think uh, that's an issue. And to be honest, I like it uh, to display plainly much more. So, at least for now, I have decided I will skip the stand and display it like this. Okay, so I guess that concludes the project Atlantis. I hope that uh, you liked it and I really hope that others will take over and actually uh, take an advantage of uh, the idea that it's uh, prepared for uh, LED lights and actually uh, use, use it and make the lights because I would really love to see it uh, lit up. Anyway, that's it, um, and we will see each other in the next project. Have a very nice day, and bye-bye.